Hi, I'm Mark Seth from Crocker Farm Auction. I'm here to discuss a classic example of Shenandoah Valley pottery that we'll be selling in our March 25th auction. This figure of a whippet uh, was produced by John Bell in Waynesboro, PA, sometime probably in the 1840 to 1860 time period. Um, and according to the Shenandoah Valley Authority on the subject, um, Dr. H.E. Comstock, these were produced from a chalkware mold. Um, and there are other things that the Bells did with chalkware and other molds, for example, from the Bennetts in Baltimore, where they're using uh, different types of molded ware, uh, sometimes pirated, um, to produce things to sell. We can see it has a very elegant form. This is very refined. When we think of backcountry pottery, you wouldn't think of a, a, you know, a whippet dog or a greyhound reclining on a base. Um, it reminds you of something much more high style. Um, so it's interesting they produced this form, but apparently they were fairly popular because they were produced both by the Bells in Waynesboro, the Bells uh, during their Winchester period, and the Bells in Strasbourg um, up until the late 19th century. You can see it has this wonderful patinated paint, this metallic silver paint that's original on a green base, perhaps simulating a lawn. There's incised details to the muzzle and to the paws. And one thing that John Bell frequently did uh, on his whippets, which shows the time involved, is the, the delicate painting of the eyes and the whiskers. Can you get that, Luke? Little black eyelashes and little black whiskers. There's little black highlights for toenails. You think about these, these little eyelashes, it's reminiscent of what you'll find is impressed dots on their hand-modeled animals and hand-modeled dogs, which is interesting. You see the underside, these are hollow molded. These are very substantial pieces. I hope that I'm conveying in this video the size of this figure and the weight of this figure, the thickness of this figure. They're very girthy, impressive figures. Um, and really, to really get that, you, you kind of have to see them in person. But they're skillfully molded and um, imposing in size. They're, they're really wonderful. There's been less than, oh, I don't know, less than 10 whippets, uh, maybe a fair bit less than 10, that have come to auction in the last uh, decade or more. Um, to my knowledge, everyone that's come to auction that's authentic um, has sold through our, through our firm. And um, this example is exciting. Um, in addition to it being a very quality example of John Bell's work, it's also pictured in, in uh, Comstock's book, The Pottery of the Shenandoah Valley Region, which is an iconic book, one of the great uh, American ceramic um, publications out there. And um, so whoever ends up with this piece will also have a piece that is in a, an important uh, work on Shenandoah Valley Pottery.